Good morning, beautiful. Welcome to a brand new day of life. I am so happy that you're meeting me here this morning. I saw some conversations within our Big Life Mentoring Group yesterday that so many of you set it as a goal to not only listen to devotionals, but to take advantage of listening to them live because you're a member of mentoring and you get to call in. So many of you are up early this morning listening to this the moment that I speak it. Hey, sister, I'm really glad you woke up this morning. Good for you. Check that off your box this morning. Woo! That feels good, doesn't it? I'm so proud of you. Today, I think I'm going to title this devotional, Three Gifts to Rock Your Day. Our scripture is 2 Timothy 1.7. For God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Did you get that? The spirit God gives us doesn't make us live in fear, but instead it gives us power and love and self-discipline. God has given each of us gifts. And in this scripture, we learn three gifts that God is trying to lavish on us daily. It's like he's constantly trying to deal them out to us, saying, here, this is my gift for you today. I've got some power and I've got some love, and I've got some self-discipline for you. Do you want it? Listen to me. The power and the love and the self-discipline that you need to live today, it isn't all up to you. You don't have to manufacture this stuff yourself. That's exhausting. You're not alone in this. God is offering you each of these as a gift through his spirit. And the only thing holding you back is you. The only thing holding me back is me. I know what I could do. I know what I should do. But when it comes right down to it, I'm lacking the power. I'm lacking the love. And I'm often lacking the self-discipline to do it. And for this, I have the spirit of God living in me. My lack of power, my failing love, and my weak self-discipline bring me back to God over and over again. And the truth is, God allows some things in your life just to remind you that he is God and you can't do it without him. You woke up this morning to God once again offering you the gifts of power, love, and self-discipline. So I have an idea. Let's just thank him for those gifts and rip into them today, knowing that they have your name on them. They're for you. I need those gifts. Yes, God. Thank you. I receive them. Now, along with these three gifts waiting for you today is another offer with a big bow on it. And this gift is familiar to you, offered to you every day of your life from your enemy. Yes, Satan offers gifts, and his signature gift for you is fear. Mm, yep, there's some fear in a box that has your name written all over it. And how many days have you opened his gift and carried it around with you every hour of the day? You put on that fear from the enemy and you wear it like your favorite sweater. It's become part of you. You don't leave home without it. You don't go to bed without it. May you remember that fear didn't come from God. That wasn't one of his gifts. That came from the enemy. Won't you loosen your grip on fear today? Won't you release it so you can receive the three gifts that God is offering to you instead? Don't you see how your fear has done nothing but hold you back and keep you stuck? That's some of Satan's finest work. Step out of his plan today. Next, decide you won't try to power through this in your own strength. You don't have what it takes, and you're not supposed to. It doesn't mean that you're lacking or you're not good enough. 
those are lies from the enemy. If you've been hearing that you're lacking and you're not good enough, that message did not come from God. You were simply created to need God. I once heard that we were all created with a God-sized hole within that only he can fill. I don't know which of these three gifts you most need today, whether it be power, love, or self-discipline. But I want to tell you, God has the perfect size power, the perfect size love, and the perfect size self-discipline available for you today. Whatever you may be facing right now, it's an opportunity to experience a God-sized power in your life. The mountain is too big for you to move yourself. Newsflash, you're not supposed to move it yourself. For this, you have the gift of God's power. The person who is a thorn in your side, the one causing you havoc, the one who is so darn unlovable right now, you're just done and you can't love them on your own, well, you're not supposed to. For this, you have the power of God's love. Or how about that goal, that goal that you have tried again and again to achieve, the task that just never gets completed, the one you simply don't have enough self-discipline to be successful with? Mm, What if you're not supposed to? For this, you have the power of God's self-discipline. God's spirit living within you removes fear and comes bearing gifts. So let's just receive them today. How fortunate are we? We woke up with these gifts just waiting for us. And I I accept all three. But man, I especially need one of those. I mean, I really need one of those today. Do you accept all three but really need one of those an extra bit? Do you need the power God's power that he's offering you? Or maybe you so need that love. Hmm. Or is it the self-discipline? Well, you've got to let go of fear first. It didn't come from God. And accept his gift. He's got the perfect size power, the perfect size love, the perfect size self-discipline for you today. Just accept it and receive it. Admit that you don't have what it takes, and you're not supposed to. You can't do it on your own because you're not supposed to do it on your own. Light bulb moment. Isn't that a huge weight off your shoulders? Like, take a deep breath, girl. You're not supposed to handle this on your own. You need God. You need his power. You need his love. And you need his self-discipline. And he's offering it all to you today. Three gifts to rock your world today. Won't you receive them? Hey, may I pray for you? I really I really would be honored. I, I would love to be with you wherever you're at right now. Just grab a hold of your hand and just circle up and pray. But since I can't be there, God offers this amazing thing that if we just close our eyes in this moment, we talk to him together. It's literally like we're just standing in the room together. And I would just really love to pray for you and pray for your family. So close your eyes if you're not driving. And let's pray. God, good morning. Oh, God, we thank you for this day. We are gathered right here in this moment to just say thank you. Thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for giving us the gift of a new day of life. And thank you for these gifts that you've given us today. The gift of your power, the gift of your love, and the gift of your self-discipline given to us through your spirit which lives in us. We receive these gifts today. We need them. God, forgive us for how we've been trying to do this on our own. We are so frustrated and overwhelmed and stuck because we've been trying to do it in our own power, in our own love, in our own self-discipline, and we keep coming up short. Thank you for getting through to us that light bulb moment of, 
own. We're not supposed to do this on our own. We were created to need you, and God, we we need you. God, if there's anyone listening who has been fooled by the box with a big bow on it from the enemy sitting on their doorstep today, filled with fear, if they've been fooled and they've been receiving his gift over and over and over again and claiming and wearing that fear, I pray, God, that you would give them the strength and the power, the love and the self-discipline to let go of that fear today. Let go of everything that is not from you and cling to all that is from you today. God, give them a taste of what it's like to live a day without the fear that the enemy has been feeding them. Give them a taste of a day lived with your power, your love, and your self-discipline. I pray that today would be the day they would taste and see "Mm, you are good and life is good with you and your gifts. God, I lift up each and every one of these women listening right now. I lift up their families. I pray for your provision, your protection. God, I pray that your will be done in their lives. I pray for each marriage each relationship, each child, each mom, each dad. Meet them right where they're at. Bless them and guide them today. Thank you again for today, for this day, for this morning, for these gifts. In the name of Jesus, amen. Mm, mm, mm. Girl, I am glad you were listening this morning. I hope you receive those gifts that God is offering for you. I don't know. Which one was it you need most today? I mean, you get all three. But I think God will totally accept a request of, can I get a double help on one of those today? I don't know. What is it? Do you need God's power? Do you need God's love? Do you need God's self-discipline today? Go ahead. Be bold. Ask for a double help of that. I'm pretty sure he has enough. (laughs) Thanks for joining me today. I'm so glad you were here. And hey, if you would like to be on one of these calls, like live, listening live on the phone while it happens, that's a perk for our Big Life Mentoring members. It happens every morning at 6 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I would love to hook you up, sister. Reach out. Post a comment. I'll reply and tell you how to get in. I love you wildly. Have a great day. Bye-bye.